Hi guys, this is Trampin FM and obviously the big news coming out of the Scotland camp is that Gordon Strachan has been sacked as manager. I'm going to talk about some of these downfalls that I believe led to his sacking. Obviously the biggest one is that we failed to qualify for the World Cup or even our playoff place. Now Gordon Strachan, I do rate him as a manager, he is a football man. He even said so himself that he would watch any game of football. But there is a couple of things that I felt led to his downfall other than obviously failure to qualify. Some of the team selections, this is going to be mainly subjective because anyone can look at something and say, this is that, well, that's not how I would have done it. But, there, I mean, overwhelmingly, I think people would agree that there's some things that weren't quite right with his selections. The players that he's called up, the likes of Anya, for example, he's, he's been brilliant for Scotland, there's no doubt about it. I have no issues with the player. But I think he's had one game for Derby this season and he's leaving people like Callum Patterson out and he's playing Kieran Tierney uh, right back completely out of position and, and that was noticeable when they, we played against Slovenia. He made a tackle but a yellow card after you know 5-10 minutes. Why are you not bringing people like Patterson in? Or even playing Stephen Whitaker that you called up. You know, looking at his other ones, I think Gordon Greer, you know, 35 at the time or 36, uh, he was called up uh, before the England game. I, I get the need for experience, but is he any better than the likes of Liam Cooper, the Leeds captain? Again, Charlie Mulgrew, who's playing in League One for Blackburn Rovers. Liam Cooper, who's the captain of Leeds, playing in the Championship. Why isn't he in the team? Why is Christoph Berra getting a game over Liam Cooper? Grant Hanley is in the squad and I don't think he's even getting much of a game at Norwich City. I think he's had a few starts. The second thing that I'm going to cover is obviously, I think everyone heard, he's been criticised heavily for and I think this is probably one of the main things of why he was sacked. After the game, he uh, mentioned that we're, we're not genetically superior, we're, we're inferior. Oh, they've got more physical players, They're, we're not strong enough. You know, no offence to Barry Bannon, but... If, if you truly believe that, why are you calling up players like Barry Bannon or James Forrest or even John McGinn? I think now we have to look at the future. I would take the likes of Charlie Mulgrew out, Stephen Whitaker, call up people like Patterson, maybe John Suter of Hearts, but develop, develop for the future. It's the issue, I think. We're still calling up people like Stephen Fletcher. You know, what's, what's wrong with Oliver Burke? of uh, West Bromwich Albion, you know, people like that sort of class. I mean, they have been called up, but they've not really had the games. I think another thing that led to his downfall, and I'm not going to criticise Scott Brown too much, but he retired last year from international football. And I don't, you know, I think he said it was something to do with injuries. He's wanted to prolong his club career, which I have no issues with as a professional footballer. Yeah, fair enough. But he's immediately back in the team, He's immediately a made captain for a massive game. What does that say about the other guys that want to be in the first team, that want to play for their country? Or are guys that have not been given a chance? It doesn't reflect well, and there's no doubt about that. Scott Brown is a leader on the park, but it's the way that I think that happened that just didn't sit right with me. Other people might disagree. In fairness to Strachan, I think he has been a good manager. Um, I think most people would agree that under him it has been fairly successful but I think like all Scotland fans we're just sick of being disappointed. We're going to have to wait another two years for fine for another major tournament. Another four years for another World Cup. We just need, we need someone in. I don't know who that man is. David Moyes is maybe the favourite. He did have a hard time at Sunderland. Then there's people like Malky Mackay. Sam Allardyce is mentioned, uh, Michael O'Neill with Northern Ireland who I think has done a fantastic job but I don't know if people agree with me, maybe it has to be a Scottish manager for me but I, I totally believe that it has to be a person from that country that manages the national team. I don't think you get the same passion from a, a manager that's not from that country. People might disagree, it's just my opinion. So I think a, a change had to be made guys. It's probably the right decision. It'll be interesting to see who we get in. Let me know down in the comments below who you think should be the next Scotland manager. Were they right in sacking them? What changes need to be made to ensure that we do qualify for the European Championships in two years? Let me know if you agreed with me. Let me know if you disagreed with me.
So that's the video guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, it's my first sort of commentary video. I am recovering from a cold, if you probably couldn't tell, my voice is a bit off. The video took a wee, wee bit longer to edit than first thought. Please like and subscribe if you can, really appreciate the support. I'll see you soon.